<sighs> After everyone had left and I was alone, all the exhaustion came crashing down on me. I time leaped 3000 times. I thought I'd be able to work things out in my head along the way. We had been so desperate to return to the past that I hadn't had time. My mind was worn down after all the time leaps. I thought I made my decision. But then I found myself wavering again and again. I only managed to do it by telling myself that I had to get back before I could make any decisions. And now my head just felt so tired. Jeez, I don't know what the neighbors are doing, but... They slammed the door so hard that the this reverberates through my house. It doesn't really help when I'm so tense like this. What should I do now? What should I do for now? I didn't want to think about anything, but I felt too awake to even sleep. There's one gone. The temperature in the lab quickly drops. It was freezing, but it was nothing compared to the cold I'd felt before. The rules I'd seen right after I'd erased Chrissy's memories from Kagari. Chrissy was there. Mayuri was there. Everyone was there. It was a scene from that very brief piece I'd had during the summer. That world had been so cold, and now I know why. It was the world that I would experienced when I was asleep, existing only as data. A world built only of zeros and ones. Like being alive, even when you're dead. Being forced to stay alive, even though you were dead. The people I loved were there, but there was no one. I could reach out and touch them, but there wasn't even a little bit of warmth. It was like floating in deep dark space, without any light at all. And Kurisu was now experiencing that too. He was all alone in a cold world, without the slightest trace of warmth. <laughs> I raised my hand up under the fluorescent light. I could see the veins rising up out of it, the red blood flowing in them. I was alive, there was warmth, but could I really say that I was alive? Now that my memories had been digitized, after being exposed to the cold world, I could still really be called human? I heard a knock at the door. I turned my eyes towards it. <sighs> Maho was standing there. Hiyajo-san... Did you get out of it? I forgot something. I forgot something? Mao showed no signs of looking for whatever she had lost. Instead, she came right up and sat down in front of me. I thought she'd be worried enough to come back and check on me. I think I'm Sorry, I'm not sure if 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 I'm Matak, Anata Nante 
人なの That was the first thing she said after I finished. Just like last time, it wasn't something that was easy for her to believe. But now I must have said something in the way I spoke, because she listened until I finished. She interrupted me whenever there was something she didn't understand. She was especially interested in the time machine and the time leaps. I told her everything I knew about them. くれるのか。信じないわけにはいかないでしょ。そんな顔して語られたら。それに実際にこんなものを見せられたら。ひやじょうさん。それにこれで納得がいったわ。前から不思議だったのよ。クリスは秋葉原に来てほとんど日を置かないまま死んでしまったそんな彼女とあなたがそれほどに仲良くなれたということが特にあの子のあの性格でしょそんな期間にそれも男の人としたしくなるなんてよっぽどのことがあったんじ
でもそれは人間だって同じ個人個人で定められたプロセスに従って考えて反応する私たちはそのプロセスを意識や感情という言葉に置き換えているだけじゃないかしら AI にだって感情はあると少なくとも私たち科学者はそういうものを作り出すために日々研究を重ねているつもりよ He puffed out his chest with pride. じゃあ岡部さんあなたは感情を持った AI は人ではないと思う Yeah. たとえ一度データになっていてもあなたの記憶と体を持つあなたは紛れもなく人間岡部倫太郎よ心配いらないヒアジョーさんだいたいクリスの作り出したっていうそのタイムリープマシンだって記憶を一度データ化して還元するものなんでしょだったら今さら思い悩むだけ無駄だと思わないこういう時クリスならもっと的確なことを言えたのかもしれないけどいやそんなことないよ十分だ。As a brain scientist, but it was still me. It was a strength in her words, just like they had been in Chris's when she had driven me forward. I remembered what Mao had said before. Speaking to the memories of Kurisu inside Kakari, but. Hiajo san. Kimi wa Sarieri nanka janai. Lippa na Amadeus da. That's right. I'm here. Right now. I'm alive. And here in this time. Not in that gold sea of black data. I'm here and this time a light came on in the darkness. My cold heart began to warm. But. <laughs> Where is it? She was still trapped inside that world. Inside that sterile, lifeless world that throws you to the depths of your soul. Even after her death, her memories are still alive. And there were all kinds of conspiracies forming around her living memories. Even after she lost her body, Chris's pain continued. No, it wasn't just Chris, Gregory, Asuzua, and in the future, Mayori, Paris, Lukako, and Daru too. Everyone was suffering, everyone was miserable, but still they tried to move forward. All I had cared about was whether Mari survived. I thought that even if the th blah, words. I thought that even if the Third World War came, no matter what happened to the world, as long Mari was happy, that was all that mattered. I tried to think that. I thought no matter how much blood and tears awaited us in the future, as long as things were fine now, that was all that mattered. 
I thought I'd understood. I thought I'd understood how awful the future this is I had described was. And how hard that runs us out. We'd have to fight. I thought I understood all that. This is how. Wearing her gun and staining her hands with blood. Like it was nothing at all. Mary and Ferris. Pale and colorless. Lukaku lying on the ground. And never getting up again. Kagari and the others. Lives were ruined by fate. I seen them with my own eyes. I touched them with my own hands. And then I finally understood. I've been only pret pretending to know. I could run away. I told myself I was going to die in 2025. I looked the other way. In 2025, I wasn't dead. Everyone just thought so. Everyone has been deceived. That's right. Deceived. Me in the past. And everyone else in the future. The world was deceived. It wasn't deceiving the world in the thing we did as Owen Kiyoma in the finale of Steins Gate. I thought the future was settled, but a different future awaited me. Steins Gate and the Second Stage of the Road are hard. Once and twice, we will have to do it again. We will not be able to find a way back. But first, we must start from the beginning and connect with Steins Gate. Eleven years ago. オカリンはそう言ってただからさ僕たちがいるこの世界も無駄じゃないきっと必要な世界なんだ少なくとも今の僕はそう思ってるあなたの意味で知らないことを知らないことを知らないことを知らないことを知らないことを Maybe I should do what I said. If the future into 2036 was necessary, then maybe a world where Carissa was released from her electronic prison was necessary too. No matter how hard the path would be, I had to take the first step. And what I needed right now was that first step. Hiyajo-san. What? アメリカに帰る前にもう少し付き合ってもらえるかうんそうね条件が2つあるわ条件1つはこのタイムマシンを調べさせてほしいってこともう1つはあなたのことオカリンさんって呼ばせてもらうあなたは私をマホって呼びなさいああ悪くない条件だと思うけど There was an instant smile on her face The last of which I'd never seen before わかったマホよろしくオカリンさん Would you put a small hand against mine? I felt the soul as one. 